Okay, hello everyone, this is Jack Collier here. Going to show you, give you a quick talk about uh, my radio, my um, radio drama and the poster and what came around. So first of all, as you can see, clicking onto the screenshot, here, here, this here is predominantly my main image. It was taken in a small village around Northamptonshire and it had loads of broken down buildings, loads of fences, loads of broken down fences, loads of foliage everywhere. And it was a and it was a predominantly a really good place to set a photo shoot for an Afghanistan shoot. Um, I know it it doesn't resemble Afghanistan entirely because they wouldn't have trees and have all this um, grass. It wouldn't be green. It was usually dusty and sandy. So it was hard to find a place like that. But I went with this small village and I took some photos and um, and I found this fence here. As you can see in the photo, I sat my brother down next to it, cammed him up, got him a kit, which um, I obtained from the cadet force, which I uh, teach in, and it allowed me to um, create a nice little scene. So this was the best photo which came out of it. There are other photos of him, like solos, which I've used in my um, double page spread, but this predominantly was the best photo. So I imported it into Photoshop and started messing around, seeing what I can do. Started involving some different things. So first of all, if you can see in the background here, there's a. If I go to a better photo, actually. Right, yeah, there we go. If I get it up. Right, see here, there's a uh, your dog sign, and I needed to get rid of that before anything because that that just looks silly. It won't it won't set the set the scene at all. So I had to get rid of that first of all. It was pretty simple as. What you do is you go into Photoshop. And you get your clone stamp tool, which is here, and you you take a if I can. Uh, oh, there we go. Right, so you get your clone stamp tool, and you can take sections of cement. So you hold down Alt, take a section, and then you can drag that section somewhere else, and it will copy it. So basically, what I did with the top of the fence is I copied and dragged it all over, so I completely got rid of the green. Your dog set set the thing is fine. Okay, second of all, once I've got my image here, as you can see. And you can see how I've changed. I did that by opening the layers palette, the, um, the levels, and mess, and I changed around the red, green, and black, and blue. And uh, this allowed me to create a nighttime scene, make it seem like make the image emphasize more, and it just make, gives a more powerful image. It makes it just draw, draws more emotion out of it. It makes it like dusky, and it just makes the image. So after I did that, because our war radio drama is mixed in with sci-fi, I wanted to add a bit of sci-fi into it. And the best way, and the way I did this, was I found a picture off Google, which is um, which st stood out to me, and I imported it into Photoshop, into here, and I and I created it into the background. As you can see, if I just add it back in. And there we go, I have the image, which is back here. I stuck it on, and then I drew around the fence with it, so it stands out very good. So I'll just put that back as it was. There we go. And then I changed the opacity down to 58. Okay, as you can see, with the opacity up full, it, doesn't, it, doesn't, it stands out too much, it looks so, it looks too fake, and it looks like someone's just screaming at you in the face, and I didn't want that. So I dropped it down to 58%. And it gave me a nice effect, it changed the background, manipulated a little bit, made it look a lot better. Yeah, so then, uh, as I progressed with the radio, with the, um, radio drama, I started out um, with the Radio 4 symbol. And by doing this, I imported it off uh, Wikipedia, PSD file, inverted the, um, I inverted this, this box here. Oop. I inverted it so it was so it was what originally was black and then inverted it to white. Yeah, as we up start in adding in different layers, we've got start turning these up. So we start so I added in the uh, you can see here, it's the nine PM open time. As you can see it's perfectly in line with the BBC radio and it gives it a nice squares it away at the bottom. And I wanted to make this the same size as, as the uh, I wanted to make this the same size as the logo. Just pretty simple. And then added them with time date. Same. The whole of um, the 9 pm 06 07 20 is exactly the same size as the BBC Radio 4. Keeps it nice and aligned. 
Then we want to start, and I want to start adding the title. The title of our radio drama is The Mists of History. So, we started off, The Mists of, and I beveled and embossed this. I gave it a nice little drop shadow, inner shadow, outer glow, colour overlay, and a satin. It created a nice little effect for our um, radio drama uh, title, I think. Okay, and then, if I can find, sorry, it's all in different orders. Um, history, there we go. The Mists of History, complete the title. And I added that in. I thought it was really good. I thought it looked it let the scene. And then we started on the little quotes. So we have a quote here from Doctor Who Meets Hurt Locker. And we said it was a quote from The Guardian, which it was. And then um started adding in names. So we've got Ellie Masters up there, these are all people who are involved in the creation of the Mist of History. You can see they're still all in line at the top. And gave that a nice little effect as well. So if I just add in all these little features, you won't be able to see them, but they do make a difference when it comes out. Okay, so here we have my completed poster. Um, it's very basic. There's nothing. There's nothing blurting out on your face. We wanted to get the predominant of the whole of this image here to stand out, so you know what you're expecting when you're looking at the radio drama. So you know when you look at it, it's war based or army based. And so, or it could be with a lone soldier, because there's one soldier here, and our and our radio drama is based on a lone section of soldiers, so it really portrays the image of lost or unawareness of your surroundings. Okay, thank you for listening to this, and I'll be back with a InDesign video on my double page spread. Thank you.